So the C1 genera were the the C1 genera were the creator beings for the Aboriginal people. They would and to recognise them, one genera have a face which has two eyes. Um, the face is always or usually white, and they have a halo around it. They have two eyes, but they don't have a mouth. And that's for two reasons. One is the one genera are doers, not talkers. Um, but also the one genera is the thunderhead, the thunder clouds, those big clouds of which produce the thunderstorms that we saw like we left, like the ones we saw when we left Darwin. So over the top of the head is represents the cloud of the of the thunderhead, and above that there are lines radiating upwards, and that represents lightning. So because water is really important in the Kimberley, because you have dry seasons and wet seasons, by the end of the dry, it's pretty hard to live in the Kimberleys if you're an Aboriginal person and everything's dried out, the water holes are dried out, the vegeta all, the, all the vegetable foods are dried, the animals are, are pretty listless. So water is really important. So having a relationship between the, the thunder, Heads that which bring the rain in the in the wet season and you're creating beings um, makes makes quite a bit of sense. They are. These haven't been touched up at all. They've been, they would have been touched up regularly, but they haven't been touched up for decades. Um, burial site, um, which has a couple of skulls in it. Um, we're allowed to look at it, but we're not allowed to take photos of it. So. Um, but it's not very far, it's just up here, and, and its mouth is at the top. And next to it is a goanna. And these are two important food um, items for the, the people. So the goanna has got its tongue pointing at the top, with yeah. the, which is forked. So um, fish and goanna, important food on um, Big Island. Yeah. Behind it, it a bullet. Well, that was painted on the rock behind, is this figure, which is a crocodile. And the crocodile comes down and there's a leg here and a tail here. So they would paint over the top of other paintings mm -hmm. if they thought something was significant. There's two. And they, yeah. Up high is a, um, a bluish one. This is an unusual um, colour. We're not sure what they used for that. They may have used something that they actually had got from um, European people, like, um, like ink. But this is, looks like a um, pearl a turtle shell. I'm not right. convinced about that because it doesn't look like a turtle shell to me. But next to it is a turtle. All right, yeah. So I've got turtles on the beach and turtles on the rocks. Mm.